Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cave Story. Last time we went through the back of the labyrinth with Curly to get to the island's core. Yeah, before we get started, I just want to say that I did go back and start a new save file with the polar star instead of the machine gun because apparently you can never trade it back with Curly. Like I thought you could, you only have the one chance in sand zone. And I really wanted the polar star and you'll see why eventually, but yeah, I just wanted you to let you know I did do that. Also on my way back to this part of the game in the labyrinth shop, I found out that you can trade the polar star and the fireball for a weapon called the snake. And I went ahead and recorded some footage of it there for you. It's like the i mean it's basically the polar star and the snake combined it's a pretty cool weapon level one as you can see kind of sucks it's got a short range um but level two it gets significantly better it can go through walls does more damage and level three is obviously the best it's got a really far range and it does really good damage um but i just wanted to show that off i didn't trade for that because like i said we'll find out later why i kept the polar star but yeah without further ado let's just get back into the game and See what's in store for us in the island's core. This is a strange place. Was it some kind of base? Not quite, but we're going to go ahead and open the blast door here. Blast door number four currently malfunctioning. This blast door, it's only opened halfway. I think it must be caught on something. We hear the sound of something breaking free. But yeah, this is kind of an interesting place to start off an episode without having warmed up at all. We will see how this goes. But anyway, how are you guys doing? Well, you guys are doing well. Let me know in the comments how you are. Fall is almost upon us. It's a good thing. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. Last door opened. So yeah, that is something that's good. It's making me happy to see the trees slightly start to change color they're not not quite there yet but you can tell it's gonna happen soon it's got me excited all right what are you looking at curly look a soldier from the surface he's been nearly destroyed there are others like this one all over the place who did this it couldn't have been a mimigma how could this happen it's still functional. Rebooting. Team 9 terminated. Unable to eliminate the target. Destruction of target is impossible with currently equipped firepower. Retreat. Retreat. Uh oh. Just like that, we are in some shite. What are if the blade would be a good weapon for this part? Does a good job at getting projectiles out of the way. Bad. Well, if you don't get hit, that is. We also have our missiles. use them here. Uh-oh. They're getting pushed back with the current. Dodge the giant <laughs> white orbs. And just like that, we were already out of ammo. Maybe we use the bubbler a little bit here. Mm. 
not too bad, I'd say. We got half our health left. I do need to upgrade this uh, blade back to three if I can. Oh, what the heck? Give me that. Boss is almost dead. If I just play it safe, I might be okay here. I say as giant balls come. Oh, dude, those do a lot of damage. I am sad to say we might not survive this. We did get some missiles back. Maybe we should use those. Ah, right, get up here, please. Oh, this water is a problem. Yeah, those little uh, other parts of the guy. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. Alright, we're gonna retry here. Okay, it reverts us back to the save. Let's just go in with the blade right away this time. Gotta redo all this. Maybe we should go back and save after we have the doors open so we don't have to go through this cutscene stuff every time. I knew I was gonna be a little rusty though. It's funny, that boss is like significantly easier when you have other weapons in the game. The Polar Star isn't the best, but like I said, it, it has its purpose. But in the randomizer, for example, you can have a certain weapon ahead of time. And then also the snake is pretty good, I think, for bosses. All right, let's go back and save. So we don't have to worry about redoing that. And we'll give this another go this time with the blade already equipped. We'll try to use this better. We'll try to dodge a little bit better. See how it goes. Helps if you face the right way, I think. Jumped right into one, very cool. Just gotta keep an eye on any projectiles that make it through, basically. It's just, King can't quite get back there towards the, uh, the main guy, the main core head. All right, get ready for the balls of too much damage. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We definitely need to use our missiles. This is very good for getting the uh, projectiles. For sure. But not good for damage. Um, let's go back to the blade here. Watch for those. Try to get up here in time. It's such a hard balance. Luckily, if we can just juggle the, uh, projectiles well enough. I don't know, I think the hardest part about this boss has definitely got to be the water level. You really need your movement in this game. And you don't want to hit those.
Maybe the bubbler would be good for this. Does the bubbler do a better job getting projectiles? Kind of. It's not really the greatest either. Pushed back. I almost want to just run down to the bottom for those giant balls of death. So it's funny when I played the randomizer seed for this, or the randomizer, I remember saying that, oh, this is a lot easier than I remember it being. This is about what I remember <laughs> right here. All right. I stand on that? I cannot. Oh yeah, I didn't even know if you could Oh no, you can you can look at that, but you can't actually grab it yet. I gotta drown. Let's wait for the Oh I'm gonna die. <laughs> you have drowned. Uh, this is a bit rough, isn't it? Don't really know what my strategy is for this. We might have to use the... Well, the bubbler doesn't really do much damage, plus it runs out of ammo quick. But maybe we'll use it for the beginning of this. spam king as much and we uh use it more sparingly only when those one little spinnies come out messed up there still ah, here come the balls of death Missile launcher is definitely good, it's just you gotta get the right opportunity. Um, this is kind of a bad spot. I fell down here kind of early. So the spinny ones give you the triangles, the XP. Oh, nice. Really must have been doing some damage, thankfully. You did it. Ah, how? Hey, that's the same witch who zapped me. Are those children safe? Shut it. Don't act like you're a mother. Do you even know what this thing is? Huh? 
This is the reason why I hate robots. This is the heart of the island, the island of ball, if this stops. Do you really want to die along with the island, you stupid fool? Misery, what are you doing? Move the core to the lab now, while you still have time. Alright, unlocked killer robot, and while this floods, we want to go grab this. Something wrapped around a broken robot's arm. Will you take it? Yep. Chain to the tow rope. And there's basically nothing we can do here. This room floods and that's about it. Losing consciousness. Did you know the woman named Jenka had a younger brother? His name was Balos. Like his older sister, he had magical powers unlike anyone could imagine. You can breathe. Yep, Curly puts her uh, air tank on us so we can survive. No reply. She's not moving but appears to still be alive. Will you use the tow rope? Yes. We're going to take her with us. Yeah, that kind of gave me a hard time, that boss. <laughs> Basically how I remember it. I wonder what the good strats are for that. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. And I guess we, I don't think we can go through this way. It won't open. So we have to go through this like, panther head. And just like that, we were in the waterway. Try to get some of our XP back here. What else needs XP? Bubbles? There we go, it's maxed. All right, everything's maxed, surprisingly. Get those bats so they don't interfere with the jumps here. Don't hit that spike. Alright, but hit that one, whatever. Is there hearts hidden anywhere? There is. Me up here. Good stuff. We'll take all the health that we can get right now. Okay, I don't think there's like a certain path we have to take, at least I hope there isn't. Like, for missing stuff anyway. Some health this way. Here we go, we almost got full health now. Just have one missile. Let's use the bubbler for this. Ah, uh, really? Oh, there we go. Bubble back up. Waterway cabin. You want to rest? Yes. Put Curly down in the bed. Although she's not moving, she seems to still be alive. Text displayed on screen. That reminds me, I also recorded some findings on that notebook. 
interesting. Nothing of interest. The notebook is covered in dust. Open the notebook. Robots manufactured on the surface have limited aquatic mobility. In the case of flooding, the system will automatically initiate a shutdown to prevent from short circuiting. Lower instructions on how to service flooded robots. Learned how to service flooded robots. Very convenient notebook. Flooded systems will begin to reboot processes automatically after using the above method of draining. Drain the water from Curly. Yes, we want to do that. You're safe. Oh, I'm glad. I thought you were a goner. You lost consciousness and I couldn't think of anything to do about it. So I gave you my air tank. It worked, didn't it? She fell asleep. The restart process will take some time to complete. And I think we're good. Would you like to leave her here? No. We'll bring her with. I think is what we want to do. Should I farm this bat for XP's? Nah, that's stupid. Let's just leave. I almost hit that spike. I hit that one though, 100%. There was some help in that little cubby. Oh well. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Something's coming. Little boss fight here. Forget what this guy is called. You get something for no hitting this, but dude, I doubt I will do it. Ooh, that was close. I, I think I got cucked by that block, dude. Maybe miss my opportunity for damage. Right here, though, maybe? Uh, where is he? There he is. Ah, dude, you punk. dead. Kind of upset because that was almost flawless except for that one hit, but what can you do? I don't think doing that flawless is required. No hitting iron head just gives you an alien metal, so it's not required. You just get bragging rights. Which bragging rights can be nice, I guess. But yeah, we're going to heal up here and save. And we will continue this off next time. So, thanks everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.